Gwen, I got some food for you. Gwen, I'm home. Gwen, hello. It's me, Melody. Gwen. Gwen, I have sushi for you. It's your favorite. Gwen, come on. You've been hiding from me forever. Gwen. I'm gonna find you. Gwen? Hello? Hello? Oh, she must be out on the patio. Found you! Gwen? Gwen? Gwen! Gwen. Please. Just Huh? <gasps> Gwen. Wow. What is this place? Is this still part of the dollhouse? Gwen. Gwen, would you please come down from there? I need to talk to you. Please. Why should I? This is important. It's about our relationship. Why do you want to talk about our relationship? Come on, come here. No. Gwen, this is exactly what we need to talk about. You avoiding me and you hiding from me. I'm not avoiding you. I'm just trying to avoid life. But your life includes me. So you are trying to avoid me. Listen, Melody, do we really need to talk about this now? I'm going through something serious. It's like you don't even care. You don't even care about how I feel. You only care about yourself. You care about how you feel in this relationship, not about how I feel. Well then, Gwen, how do you feel about me? I just feel like you don't even care about my emotions right now. You're only concerned about how I'm treating you. You're not even concerned about how I feel or what I'm going through. Gwen, shh, calm down. I do care. It's just, I thought you cared enough about me that you wouldn't just exclude me from your life forever. It's not forever. It's long enough to make me think that you don't even care about this relationship at all. It's like you want nothing to do with me. I've been out here calling you every single day for the past three weeks, but you kept hiding from me and you refused to come out. I didn't even know this room existed. That's why I hid in here. Aha, so you are trying to avoid me. What have you got to say for yourself, Gwen? Do you even care about me? What about what I've been going through? You're the apple of my eye. We're the perfect pair. But you're just shutting me out. You're shutting me out of everything. Like I'm just a speck of dust to you. You don't even care about me. And you don't even care about me. Can't you see that I just want to be left alone? Gwen, you've been alone for three weeks ever since that party. Are you gonna come out here or am I gonna have to make you? It's not like they can get you or anything. They're gonna explode if they trespass onto the property. Well, what if this house really isn't magic? <laughs> and it won't do that. Gwen, open your eyes for barking out loud. We were magically brought into this place. We've got a spell cast on us. We can turn into disguises whenever we want to. Are you gonna wake up or what? Haven't you realized how excluded I feel from this relationship? How excluded I feel from you? And obviously I do care about how you feel if I've been searching for you every day for the past three weeks, day and night. I practically turned this stupid house upside down just so I could find you. And finally here you are still refusing to come out and saying that I don't care. 
I do. I understand that you're depressed and that you have suicidal thoughts, but you can't just stay trapped forever. Otherwise, you're going to feel even worse. Yeah? Well, maybe I'm just not comfortable in this relationship anymore. Excuse me? You heard me. What if I don't want to be with you anymore? What if I don't care about you? Oh, so you're just a self-absorbed old Gwen May again, huh? Leader of the plastics and all that. You don't care about my feelings. You don't care about anyone but yourself now, don't you? Just leave me alone and shut up! Listen, Gwen, the only reason you're acting so overly dramatic is because you, you're pregnant. I mean, hello? Would you just leave me alone already? It's not that, it's you! Maybe that's why I'm so depressed, because you're in this house, you're invading my privacy, and you're so, so, so desperate to get me out of here when I don't want to come out! Is that what a true girlfriend does? Or a true boyfriend? I don't know, Melody. Maybe I don't want you anymore. Maybe I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. Maybe I'm just better off without you. Better off killing myself. But you're not, Gwen. You are not. Suicide is never the answer. What if you had a chance to restart your life? If you just had a life that wasn't shattered with depression and suicidal thoughts? Where you had a loving girlfriend who cared so much about you that she searched far and wide for you. Where you had a beautiful house. No one could ever hurt you again. You, you could wear disguises so no one could ever harm you. No one could ever kidnap you. No one could ever hate you again. But of course, you only care about yourself and you think suicide is the answer. Just get out. What? I said get out! Just get out of my life, get out of this house, just get out of everything! No one cares about you, Melody. Your own mother doesn't care about you. I doubt she's even looking for us. I'm sure she's forgotten about us already. Because you and I are so insignificant to this planet and this world that we should just kill ourselves. And we should end our lives right here and now. Because it doesn't matter. Nobody cares about us. Not even our own mother cares about us. How could you say that to me? I said get out already! I was just trying to help you. Because... Because I love you. Wow, then I'd be really afraid to see what you do to your enemies, Mel. You know what? Just kill yourself, Melody. <laughs>